Ladies and gentlemen, now at MainStreetCycle.com, you can now get you a My Genius handheld device to tune your CF moto. That goes for any of the CF motos, anything that we have an MSC tune for, you now can get you a My Genius handheld device. And Joel, that means that they don't have to send their, take their ECU out of their machine and they can uh, keep riding until the My Genius device gets to uh, their house. And then we're gonna take them step by step on what to do once the My Genius handheld device comes. It's gonna come in a box like this. Of course, that'll be boxed up as well when it ships to your house. You'll open it up. You'll get your My Genius handheld device out. Get your data cable, USB cable out. It'll come with some instructions. But the first thing that we're going to have to do is we're going to have to update this device. And if you've ever ordered a programmer handheld device for your vehicle, car, truck, that's just a common thing you have to do. Update the device with your computer. And here's just a little... Uh, just a little heads up, I guess. If you're not good with computers, then we recommend you just simply take your ECU out and send us uh, your ECU and let us tune it here. But if you feel comfortable navigating a computer or a laptop, if you have that at home, because you will need a laptop or computer to do this, as well as an internet connection and an email, uh, because you're gonna have to communicate with us and. Uh, all that good stuff. So we are gonna to try to make it as simple as possible for you on this video, show you step-by-step step what to do. And that way you can get your handheld device. You can ride all the way up till you're ready to tune your unit. Within your uh, little box that you have there with your My Genius handheld device, you're gonna get this card here. It's gonna show you the PC minimum requirements right there, okay? We're just simply gonna copy this URL right up here. Copy it letter for letter, and uh, then we'll hit enter. Get in. All right, now that we have that uh, copied, make sure you get it just right. We're simply gonna press the enter button. And then our internet's slow right now. Oh, there we go, we're already downloading. So that popped up down there in the bottom. We're gonna let that download. It's gonna take a couple minutes. My laptop is a little older one is going to take a minute. <laughs> so let that go and then we will open that up. Right now it is done downloading. I'm going to simply click it. It's going to pop up, ask if you want this to make changes to your device and you need to click yes. And that's going to open up the setup wizard. So we're going to you know, select your language, hit next, uh, next. We're gonna let it do its thing. Let's let that download. So as it is loading, you'll see it have a couple of pop-ups with that C++. And then we've got this that just popped up. An app on your PC needs the following window features. So we're going to download and install this feature. The following feature was successfully installed. Yay. All right, we're going to hit close. We're going to let this do its thing. Would you like to install the this device software? All right, we're going to install. We're going to hit next. You have to accept it. Just the license agreement. This is going to tell you where it's going to save it within your computer. It's going to be within your programs folder. You can change that, but I recommend just leaving it alone. And then we're going to install. So again, if you don't really want to go through this stuff, you can send us your ECU and we'll do it like we've been doing it. But if you feel comfortable doing it with your computer, so that way you never have to take your ECU out and you can have your handheld device, then we'll keep on going. Hit finish. 
Okay, then you're gonna see this screen pop up. You gotta, you can read through that. We're gonna put, I have read, and then I agree. And it's gonna do its thing. All right, it's, it's downloading the files. It's on two of three. Looks like it's doing good. I haven't updated Windows on my laptop, so that could have been an issue, uh, but seems to be working fine. So, update complete, there we go. So now that that's complete, what I recommend doing at this point, all that's done, we're going to restart our computer uh, now that we've done some updates and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna restart it, let it boot back up, and then we will hook up our handheld device. Now that uh, my laptop is restarted, we're gonna simply hook up our USB port. It powered on the handheld device. We're gonna go here to the My Genius icon. Just gonna pull this up. You can read through all that. Then hit, I have read, accept. Look at Brandon's intense look there. Okay. Now, initializing communication in process. It's doing it, it's doing it here. It's recognizing that it's connected. Click yes. All right, so now we're simply going to click update for our device. I'm gonna hit okay here. Hit I have read, accept, click yes. Let the My Genius do its thing and update within the software while it's connected. All right, you see it's rebooting. It's gonna do that process a couple of times. And just don't touch anything while it's going through its procedure. And then one eternity later, update completed. So we're gonna click okay. It's wanting us to read this stuff again. It's a set time. Yep. Oh my goodness. So now we're going to simply unplug our handheld device and we're going to go out to our machine. In this case, we're going out to a C4 600. Okay, so again, this, this will work with all of your CF motos and we will simply show you the procedure of doing a C4 600. We're going to get to our port here. All right. Now we're going to take, hook up, our plug from our My Genius device. We're going it's gonna recognize that it's hooked up to something, see it powered it on. Will it work? CF Moto, go down, select C4600. Yep. Now we're gonna turn our key on, just following the instructions. Let the, let the yeah, let the fuel thing. pump and everything finish doing its thing. Hit OK. All right. Switch off. Switch off. Hit OK. We're, we're wanting to read. Switch on. Hit OK. Once it's done doing its cycle. may take a couple of seconds here or longer 
And again, the benefits of having this handheld is so that you don't have to send your ECU to us. You can still definitely do that if you don't want to fool with this. You're going to get the same tune. Uh, for, like, for instance, in this example, the C4600, if you get this My Genius device, you're going to get the same tune sent to you that if you sent your ECU into us physically and we tuned it here. We're going to give you everything you need within the My Genius device to just simply do it at home. So just whatever you feel more comfortable doing is what you can do. So this, of course, is going to cost just a little bit more uh, because you are getting the My Genius device. But one benefit also is that you can flash this later on to your stock tune if you wanted to for whatever reason you would have the ability to do that with your handheld device and then you could swap it back to your tune so that's completely up to you and it may also open up some avenues for future well we'll save that for later but anyways uh with the my genius device now it's this is once you hook it up to one particular cf moto machine that's all, it's locked into it. It's not gonna work, like, if you have a C4600 and a Z-Force 950 or something, or U-Force, whatever, or two four-wheelers, you can't buy one device and tune multiple machines. Just not gonna work. It's only gonna work with one machine. It, once you read uh, one particular machine, that's it. It's locked into that device, that ECU, on that particular machine. So just keep that in mind as well. All right, so now that that is done reading, uh, it's gonna simply come to this where it's telling you to switch off your dash. We're gonna do that. Hit okay. Reading ECU completed. Hit okay. Let it finish this part. All right, now we're simply going to unplug and go to your computer. Oh, by the way, it's a pretty sweet looking cage. I'll show you this in another video. All right, now that we're at our laptop, we're gonna hook up our My Genius handheld device. It's gonna recognize it on your computer. I've already got the My Genius client uh, open. All right, now we're going to download from My Genius. All right, it's going to give you some instructions. We're going to hit next. Yes. All right, so right here, when it pulls this part up, you can click on these three dots here. We're going to simply scroll down. We do want it to go to our My Genius folder. Go to the Downloads tab. We're going to hit OK. And then we're going to hit next. And then just read the instructions there and that's what we want to do. So we're going to hit confirm. Let it load and be patient. It's downloading your device should just still look like this because it's connected to the computer. All right, procedure completed successfully. Now we're going to hit close and it's gonna pop up your file. Now you're just gonna simply email to msctunes, with a S, at Main Street Cycle dot com. All right, now you're gonna, you can add a subject, you can put your name, we'll just, uh, We'll just do Blake 2022 20, C-Force 600. All right. And you can send us a little note if you want to, whatever you'd like to do here. You don't have to, but the more information you give us, that's cool. Your name, full name, what your machine is, uh, we definitely need that information. Attach the file. We're going to go to browse computer. Um, and in this case, we know that we put it in the documents file. We put it in my genius download 
And then there's our file right there. We're gonna double click that. It's gonna attach it to the email. And we're gonna hit send. So now that you have sent your email to msctunes at mainstreetcycle.com, you're gonna simply wait until Joel does his magic work and sends you an email back. All right, guys, we have a email back from MSC Tunes at MainStreetCycle.com. I'm gonna open that up. It says, here is your tuned files. 000 is the MSC tune. And then you get a bonus tune just because you got this My Genius from us. You're gonna get a bonus tune that just simply has a 35 mile per hour speed limiter. That's just, I don't know. If you wanna use that, you can. Say you're training somebody on your ATV that's a first timer or whatever, we've got you a speed limiter there. You can use it. It's just there for you. Just a little bonus is all. But you also get your MSC tune and your stock file, remember, is already in your handheld device. So we're going to simply take, open this up. We're going to download it. All right. It's going to download a zip file. Okay. And we're going to open the file, all right, C4600. I kind of already did a while ago, but just ignore that. It's right here. We're going to right click that and we're going to copy it. Now we're going to go back to this PC, go to documents. Then we're going to go to my genius. We're going to go to upload this time. We're going to right click, paste, there is our zip file. Double click that and you're gonna to want to extract all, okay? Click extract all, extract, boom. There's your files. You have to extract that zip file or it's not gonna work. Now, we can exit this out. Okay, exit, exit. We're gonna to go to upload to My Genius. All right, everything's hooked up. We're gonna hit next and let it do its thing for a second. All right, hit these dots over here, go to upload 600. We wanna do the 000 because that's the MSC tune and that instruction was in the email that you got. Double click, verify and file. And now that was, that was all right there. We can go ahead and upload again there. We're going, you see, yeah, that's what we just uploaded. Now we're going to add a new file and we're going to do 001 just to go ahead and get it in the device. Double click, verify and file. All right, now they're both there. We're going to hit next and load these files. Yes, that's what we want to do. Hit confirm. File loading on the tool. Don't touch anything. Let it do its thing. May take a minute. Don't go to clicking a bunch of buttons. Boom, procedure completed successfully. Now we're gonna hit close. Okay, give it a second. Don't get in a hurry. Boom. So now we're simply going to unplug our device and we're gonna go out to our four wheeler, our four wheeler. All right, now we're at our C4600. Again, just a reminder, if you're watching this, this is for all the ones that we have MSC tuned for and the ones that we're about to release. So anyways, all right. We plugged up, we haven't turned the key on. This pops up. We're gonna go to work. And he's just simply hitting select. Right there. Yep, we wanna write MSC tune. There it is. There's, it shows two here. Oh, uh, yeah. So here's the 35 mile an hour one. Yes. And here's the MSC tune. Yep. But we're gonna do this one. Right. So he, all Joel did was just select over, and that'll allow you to go through and select what tune you wanna do. We're gonna go hit okay on the MSC tune. Make sure you do that one, uh, if that's what you're wanting. And then just follow the instructions. It told us to switch it on, we switched it on. 
Wait a second. One, two, three, and then hit go. Key is on, it's doing its thing. It may take a minute or so. Switch off, hit okay. Just follow directions, we cut it back on. Hit okay. Don't skip any of these steps or it might not work. Remember you can only write one file to the machine. So we're gonna switch it off like it says. Hit okay. Cut it back on. Boom, we're completed. Once you see that, you are done. You can hit okay. And that's done. Now we can safely unplug it. So now we've got our MSC tune in it. It's ready to rip and rare and run super efficient, way better AFRs, better power, better delivery of the power. Just the overall drivability is gonna be awesome, whether it's the C4 600, Z Force 950, just whatever you got is gonna run great with MSC Tune. And you can see all that on all of our other videos on this channel. But now we're gonna show you if you wanted to flash it to the one of the other tunes. Go to work, writing. Original now we got stuff. the original modified. We'll go. Let's just, you just go in. One, but we'll go here and that shows both of those. Yeah, you got both of those, the, the speed limiter, or, or you can go back original. Well, it's trying to start. And it's going to try to, we're not going to do that. We're going to leave this one tuned, but you would just go through the directions that it tells you and you can flash it back stock. So, man, that is awesome. That's great. Uh, so if you are comfortable with a computer, if you feel like you can navigate one and you would like this handheld device, to get your machine tuned, then we have that option at MainStreetCycle.com. And down in the description of this video, I will have the direct link so that you can buy this device and then we will go from there. So follow the instructions of this video and you will be able to do this on your machine and be ready to rip and have a couple of options and just keep up with your device, put it somewhere safely in case you ever want to flash it back stock or put the speed limiter on it. And uh, remember that only works for one machine once you pair it up to it, that's it. So this, this device is gonna go with this machine now. So anyways, hope y'all enjoyed this video. Remember, MSC Tune is the best, man. We thank JP with Performance by Surcap for making this happen for us and working with us here at Main Street Cycle. And uh, we have got to hurry up and finish this bad boy in here. We've been working and busting our tails to get this perfect. And uh, we've got a lot more planned. So again, thank y'all so much. God bless you. MainStreetCycle.com. Go check out all the accessories, all the everything that we have available for you, for all of you CF Moto owners. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one, guys. God bless you. As always, remember to keep it real. Bye-bye.